Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be talking about, say, in entrepreneurship or whatever you want to call it, business, investing, or just life itself. The key to continuing to persevere and pursue success is getting used to or getting better at feeling bad. Now, I've got some comments on this, but Kirby, I'll let you open this one up. Uh, yeah, so... I always tell people, and I don't, I would go grab it, but I'd be like, well, this, um, I always tell people money is nothing but any emotion. The better you can control your emotions, the more money you will have. As simple as that. When it comes to investing, the better you can control your emotions, the better you have. Most people that you see on social media, or if you talk about, talk to financial brokers or stock analysts, it's the number one rule is to be able to control your emotions. So the better you can control your emotions, the more money you will have. The most emotional people in the world are usually the brokest people in the world. I don't care how they act on the outside. If they're broke and you look at their bank account and they don't have no money, it's because they're emotional. They they lost their lives to emotional things. Emotional things are things when they say, I believe I deserve or this is how it should be or or they fall sucker to sob stories and family members manipulate them or they think I work so hard, you know, work hard, play hard. I work hard. I deserve this. All those people are people that usually have no money because they are emotional beings, very emotional beings. And with that, and the, the big crux of this video is getting better at feeling bad. When somebody call you and say, and they give you that sob story and you have the ability to say, no, hell yeah, you feel bad. You feel bad. But the thing is, they are taking away from your and your family's goals. I mean, you can't help everybody. Jay-Z said best. You can't help the poor if you want them. So you might as well get rich. Then if you want to give, then go ahead. But trying to help somebody that's poor, when you're poor, you're going to continue to be poor. And then everybody can give me the biblical philosophies and all that other crap that you want to give. But there's a reason why finance is the number two most talked about subject in the Bible. Because even God knew <laughs> you better be financially secure in this world or you're going to get ran over. So with that of being better at not feeling good or, you know, getting better at feeling bad is being able to tell people no being able to say no i can't help you no i can't do this no i can't do that because trust and believe if you keep saying yes you're never going to have nothing if you keep saying yes to every sob story you hear every emotional impulse to get you to spend money you will continue to be broke and not and i'm not saying this you know anecdotally i'm saying this because from the hundreds and hundreds of people I've talked to, and it's always, oh, well, I feel like this. I don't, how you feel, don't matter. I mean, you, I mean, the, the one the one that gets me often, and I know this is probably going to get a lot of uh, hate mail, is when, when they talk about the election process, they talk about the election process, and you talk just facts with them about this party or this person believes in this this person does this but they they it don't align with their political agenda it aligns 100 percent with their financial agenda or their family dynamics but it don't align with the political agenda that they was born and raised with they say well well i feel he or she shouldn't have did this how you feel don't matter what's best for you is the only thing that matter and so people cut off their nose and spite their face because they're so emotional about it. But the more you get better at saying no, and yeah, you feel bad about it. So you tell one person no, then you go help somebody else. But the more you get comfortable at saying no and just being comfortable feeling bad about saying no, and I still do it now. Yes, I help people when I believe they need help. But for the majority, when people call, the answer is no. The answer is no, because you're taken away from my family. And my family is the most important thing on this planet. That's just the fact of the matter. But if you can't get be comfortable with saying no, it's going to keep dragging you back into that crab in a barrel mentality because 
the more you try to elevate yourself from your friends, family, or whatever, the more, and you can't say no and can't distance yourself from them, the more you're going to get back, pulled back in a barrel and the more you're going to struggle and the longer it's going to take for you to get out of there. But once you stack a whole bunch of no's together, that's when you start seeing the elevation. And then once you get to the plateau where you're trying to get to, if you want to go back and give a hand up, give a hand out, and it don't impact you financially, more power to you. But while you're on that journey, if you don't say no, you're going to still be in a barrel. You're going to still be in the hole that I'm in right now because you didn't you didn't uh, have the ability to say no. So, Alex, what you got? Yeah, when you sent me the topic, I even took it a step further and thought in the sense of the moments where, like, say, I've come to feeling like giving up or quitting, you know, something that I'm doing. But just accepting the fact of maybe how it feels for the moment and just pushing through and just getting that deal done or taking those final steps and getting through whatever situation you're in will make you succeed on on the other end and so it's especially i think getting better at feeling bad as you said in those situations where you feel like giving up where you feel like you just don't want to go any further you just want to pull back go back to the same spot you were in because it's more comfortable and if you can push through that then it makes all the difference and especially if you can get used to feeling that way and understand okay i felt this before I'm feeling it again. I can get through it again. I got through it last time. And you can keep pushing through in that sense. So it's something that is, I think, necessary in terms of achieving success because you're going to feel bad often. And the only determining factor that's going to make you successful or not is whether or not you actually push through. Yeah, I like where you're going. With, I like where you're going with that. The the, I was, I mean, when I when I sent you the topic, I was talking more on a psychological, emotional state, but on even on a physical state, on a physical state, it's the same way. I mean, people, Alex say it to me all the time. I'll just I'll I'll, this breaking news. We should have don don don, but um. But Alex say it to me all the time. He always say, you're nothing like on YouTube what you're like in real life. And because I'm a grinder, I'm I'm going to push. I'm going to push to the limits. Now, a lot of times I don't feel the greatest, but the thing is, I know I will keep pushing. Like when I feel the suck, that's what made me want to work harder. But it took training to do that. I mean, what I mean by training is I had to be in the suck a lot to get used to being in the suck to persevere out of it. But I mean, early on when I was in the suck, I was just like everybody else. I was just like, hey, you know, I don't want to do this no more. Let me just calm down. But it's just about persevering. I mean, I can say it's a lot of, you know, training I had in life with, you know, football, with the army and stuff like that. But I was just like everybody else when it came to finance. I wanted to crawl up in the shell and I just wanted to just end it all. But the thing is, is keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing is what makes it happen. The worse you feel, the harder you, the harder you push. And it's been many a times, Alex, I've seen him do it too. He, he's sick. He's sick as hell. And I'm like, Alex, just take the, just take the weekend off. We ain't got to do this YouTube. No, let's go. I'm like, man, you crazy. But, <laughs> but I mean, but that's really the, the truth of, of the matter. I mean, I try to tone it down a lot because I don't want people to think, oh, this guy's crazy and deranged, but I am in real life crazy and deranged. I am 100% focused on success. I would, I would literally give up my left arm I won't give him a right because I need that because I'm right-handed, but I'll give him my left arm <laughs> for success. I, I I literally will. That's how focused I am when it comes to this. And it's a lot of days to suck. Everybody just think, oh, you got money. Life's great. No, you still have problems when you have money. You just have different problems. Money usually ain't the problem. It's okay. Now, instead of having, you know, the little $20, you know, like, let's say, just for rental property purposes that, um, you know, you have a leak, you know, you can go to Lowe's and pay $20, but now you got leaks and floods and other crap in the rental property. Now, instead of a $20 fix, it comes $200, $2,000 fixes. You know, instead of patching the roof, now you're replacing roofs. 
you know, that more the more stuff that comes along with it. But it's it sucks going along the journey. It sucks when you're at wherever you want to get to. But being able to persevere and being able to be good at feeling bad is great. So Alex, that's that's a great standpoint from a physical a physical standpoint also. With all that being said, though, guys, if you have any comments or questions, let us know down below. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one.